So this is the driving center. You are currently in position ready to start your rotors. The examiner tells you to start. This is the driving center. That is the driving center right there. Walmart. There is also another landmark. The gas station, Petro Canada. The two intersections there are Banting Road, which is where the blue cars are currently and the black car are driving on the on Banting Road. And then the street that crosses at that intersection of the gas station is Ontario, is uh, Welland Avenue, Welland Avenue. So we're gonna head to that intersection. Are you ready? Yep. Perfect. So your road test starts now for your G test. Please pull up to the main road. That is the first instruction. The examiner asks you if you're ready, and then he tells you to pull up to the road. As you make a turn here, there is a yellow line in front. Please stop in the middle of the two arrows and stop completely behind the yellow line. Observe to your left, Observe your front, do a blind spot to your right, and turn nicely. There is a crosswalk here. Do not block it. Stop behind the crosswalk. Even if there is no pedestrian, stop behind the crosswalk. Observe to your left. Observe to your right. Keep an eye on Popeyes where you have shoppers and fresh coal. When the road is clear, turn nicely. Now, as you join the road, the examiner is telling you to go straight. You may either make a right turn at this traffic intersection. The street in front of us, from our left to right or right to left, is called Welland Avenue. The examiner, we are currently on Banton, but the intersection facing us is Welland Avenue. The examiner will either tell you to make a right turn, or he's going to tell you to make to go straight. If he doesn't say it, it means you're going straight. Remember, the lanes are two. You can see a car on our immediate side. So when you're driving, please keep to this right lane. Do not touch the line, the white line on the road. It will be a major violation. So just when you've crossed the light and you're going, the speed limit on this road is 50 kilometers. You are still on Banton Road. One of the common errors here is over speeding. If you do about 50 kilometers, it's a major violation. Another common error is driving too wide. Driving too wide is when the driver drives too close to the white line on the left and he leaves a lot of gaps in here. As you can see, he's not too far from the curb in the mirror, on the right mirror. So you're supposed to have a very good vehicle position as you drive. Then you are approaching the bridge. There are two main lights, one before the bridge, one immediately after the bridge. The examiner may either tell you to make a right turn here or he will tell you to go straight. For the purpose of the road test we are doing now, we're gonna go straight. The intersection we just got to is still Banton Road, which we are driving on, with a cross intersection before the bridge called Dieppe Road. Dieppe Road, D-I-E-P-P-E, -P -P -E, Dieppe Road. As you cross, please remain closer to the curb as there is a likelihood you may be touching the lines on your left. So when you cross this deep road to this next traffic light, it's going to tell you to make a right turn here and be very slow so I can capture everything. You are making a right turn at this very yield sign. The name of the street here, slow down for me to capture, is East Chester. Thank you. There is a field here. That is a landmark. There is a field there. That is a landmark. So you make a right turn on East Chester. It has a yield sign. It has a yield sign, so please observe carefully. As you turn onto this road of East Chester, your likely errors are over speeding, over speeding. Please take a left at the street coming up. The examiner will tell you to make a left. The name of the street here is Franklin Boulevard. I'm gonna to try to zoom in, so slow down. Don't care about the cars. Let me focus on my zooming. You're about to turn onto Franklin Boulevard. Good slow down a little bit when it turns so I can capture the name again 
so we just turn on to Franklin that is good not too bad we're good now when you make a turn into Franklin it is a residential road the speed limit is 40 it has a little bit of a curve so you want to make sure that in the curve you don't speed if there are vehicles parked on the right do your best to make sure you are not too close to them so that when they open their doors they don't catch you or you don't catch them so keep your speed steady if there is no curve you are allowed to do all the 40 but remember to drive based on the condition of the road if the road is bad drive based on the condition but do not exceed 40. please pull over when safe so he has been given an instruction to pull over what is the procedure he signals to the right he does a blind spot by checking over his shoulder and then he pulls closer to the curb without hitting such that he creates a gap of about one foot which is looking good he has created a gap but the gap is not perfect can you please create a gap properly so that the one foot looks perfectly straight so we're gonna do the pulling over again the gap he created was looking very very tight and not looking parallel so he has to create a very parallel gap so he's created the gap again So this is the gap they are looking for, about one foot away from the curb. And it needs to look parallel, not looking tight at some point, bigger at some point. So he's done, he's pulling over. All right, after doing the pulling over, he is gonna be doing a three point turn. But I want him to drive forward a little bit since we are at an intersection. So he's supposed to drive straight, he's supposed to check his blind spot before moving forward. Go forward a little bit more under the tree, the big tree. So please pull over here. Good. Please demonstrate a three point turn. There is a vehicle coming. It's not safe, so he's gonna wait. And then he's gonna do his observation. He does his observation. And then when it is safe, he'll go. He's still waiting because it's not safe. He has seen a car coming. It's not safe. So now he checks again. He's safe. He does his turning to go closer to the curb without hitting. He's checking. Good. He does his observation again. And he makes sure that he doesn't hit the curb. He's checking his blind spots. He changes the gear, he does an observation, and then he turns around to his new direction. This is three point turn. This is an intersection, so he scans the intersection. When you get to an intersection, even if it's your right of way, you have to scan to make sure that you do not miss a dangerous driver. So now he's finished the three point turn. Please pull over when safe. He's going to be told to do something else and demonstrate a roadside stop. Please demonstrate a roadside stop. A signal. It is his observation. He's getting close to the curb to create the gap. The gap is good. He created a one foot gap. He's scanning again. Very good. All right. Please drive and join the road when safe. So he's done with his emergency. He's deactivating everything. He's about to deactivate his parking brake. He's changing his gear now. And then he's about to do his observations. And then he's safe, so he begins driving. There is a curve coming up. So even though he's 40 kilometers, he's gonna use his discretion to make sure he's not too slow, not too fast. There is an intersection coming up. We don't have a stop sign. It's our right of way, but he still must show 
that he is scanning. There is another intersection coming up. Please take a left turn here. At this intersection, it's not an all-way stop. There is no line, so we use the crosswalk. We stop behind the crosswalk for two seconds. He cannot see the road properly, so he's going to move forward a little bit to scan carefully. And then when it is safe, he turns to join the road. And he was keeping his eyes on the white car just in case he turns out to be a bad driver. So basically, as you're going straight, if you come through an intersection, even though it's a true road and you don't have a stop sign, you must scan carefully. The moment you pass this store, Variety Food Mart, you should know that you are going to be taking a right turn at this traffic intersection. The name of the intersection is Grantham Avenue, the street we are about to turn into. So please make a right turn at Grantham Avenue. I'm going to zoom the name so you can see it. It's Grantham Avenue. Pause. Don't turn. Let me capture the name, please. Good. Now you can make a turn now. So he's making a turn on Grantham Avenue. There is a real line here. So slow down. It's a little bit bad. Not too bad. But don't slow down too much. And then you're going to see this landmark too. It has a it has a, an industrial setup here so there are some industries here um, it is a 50 kilometer road all right these are some of the landmarks vaccine.com it's a shared road the speed limit is 50. this is one of the landmarks too tree energy inc incorporated it has no line the road has no lines use your eye to create your own divider in the middle of the road and keep your speed at 50 kilometers So at this point, you are about 30 seconds away from the highway. The moment you see the wall, can you see that wall? That is a landmark you are getting closer to the highway. Take a right turn. So this is Grantham Avenue meeting Dunkirk Road. When you stop, you will not be able to see well. So you creep forward and you angle your vehicle by turning the steering slightly to the right. Make sure you are able to see the road clearly if it's not safe. And as you're watching, scan your right hand side as well so the examiner doesn't say you're looking at one side only. When it's safe, please turn to the far left. It's two lanes. Do not turn to the immediate right. Turn to the far left as the highway is just on the far left. So you turn and you go into the immediate, the far left I mean. And then at this moment, you are merging to the highway. They require you to do multiple blind spots. They require you to also merge your speed. So we are gonna focus on him and see what he's doing. This blind spot is late. Good blind spot. He has successfully merged to the highway and he has turned off his indicator. Now he is currently on the skyway. The examiner is going to test his ability to keep up to the speed on the highway, flow with traffic, do his mirror observations and lane changes. Let me repeat. The moment you jump on the highway, what are the expectations? What is the examiner going to tell you to do? One, is going to expect you to keep your speed up to the required speed limit, which is 100. I recommend you keep it between 100 and 105. Number two is going to check your ability to observe your mirrors at least every five seconds. Your right mirror and your left mirror every five seconds. Number three is going to be able to check your ability to do lane changes safely without impeding the traffic flow of other cars that are already in the other lane. Please take a lane change to your, do a lane change to your, the immediate left lane when safe. He's been told to do a lane change, so he's about to do a lane change. His signal is late. His blind spot is late. At least he should have hit one blind spot much earlier. The 
is not safe, so he's still checking. Now he's doing the lane change. But that lane change was bad. He impeded a car behind, so that would have been a major violation. Chain lane to the right when safe. As you can see, the car left behind us. It's about to do a lane change. And these are your landmarks. The outlet more. You're gonna take this exit coming up. So pay attention to the exit. The exit we just took is called Glendale Avenue, Niagara on the lake. And when you take the exit, please keep to your left. Keep left. The lanes are two. The examiner requires you to do a lane change to keep to the left-hand side. And you're going to keep to the left-hand side until you get to the traffic intersection. So do avoid the right-hand side. Keep left. The reason is that the moment you've gotten off the highway like this, he's going to find a way to try to take you real back. Like quick, quickly back to the highway again so that you can return to the driving center. So remember to keep to your left. Based on the sign, it is Glendale Avenue North. Here, the light is green with an arrow pointing left. He scans and he turns nicely. And when he turn, keep closer to the yellow line. Click closer to the yellow line. Why? There are two lanes. You don't want to go to the far lane. Keep closer to the yellow line. Which brings you here. Now this lane, slow down so I can capture the QW. You are going to be making a left turn here to head back to the highway. Your landmark here is this, QEW Toronto. He is basically taking you back. QEW Toronto is taking you back. So here is green with no arrow. We are supposed to cross the line since it's green. And then when you're turning, you're gonna be turning to enter this entrance here. So at this moment, you are actually heading back to the highway Based on what you can see, this is the highway. You can see cars are moving faster. You can see cars are moving faster. So you are merging. So he begins to do his thing. have successfully merged back to the highway once again the expectation is that when you're on the highway you must keep up to the speed of the highway if there is nothing impeding you I, I recommend 100 105 you must also be able to do your mirror observations at least every five seconds which is about 300 meters of every time you drive 300 meters you do your mirror observations your mirrors help you to see cars behind you then you will also be required to do a lane change at this moment we are about to climb the skyway which is a very tall bridge we are climbing the skyway skyway chain lane to the middle when safe observation chain link to the right when safe the exit coming up the exit is called pay attention to the exit the moment you descend the skyway the exit coming up is called 
Niagara Street and Wallen Avenue. You're going to take it. The moment you take the exit, begin reducing your speed. Remember, do not reduce your speed deliberately until you cross and take the exit. Reduce your speed as you are approaching a 50 kilometer zone. The speed limit has been posted as 50, so do your best to observe the speed limit as you see it here by the beer store. Do your best to keep to your speed limit. Chain lane to the right when safe. Take a right at the traffic intersection. Now, when you get to this main traffic light, especially with the bridge on the left hand side, we are turning into Welland Avenue. So you're going to see the name. You are about to turn into Welland Avenue. When you return from this exit on the highway, you are turning into Welland Avenue. It is a yield. So be sure to check the yield. Observe carefully when safe. You turn, there are two lanes. You come into the immediate right lane. From here, you are basically about one to two minutes away from the driving center. Remember, you are likely to have an overspeed in here. Especially when the light is green, students tend to speed a lot. So keep an eye on your speed. Keep your eye on your speed. Do your mirror checks. And do not take your eyes off the traffic light if you are approaching very closely because the lights may change whilst you are observing somewhere else. Remember, keep your speed disciplined. Overspeeding may occur within the city when you are off the highway. The speed limit is 50. You don't want to hit. The moment you begin going above 50, an examiner may use that as against you. So we get to the U-Haul. We get to the intersection called Nielsen Avenue and Welland Avenue. We are currently on Welland Avenue. The one crossing us is Nielsen. We are not going to take this. You're going to go to the next one where you see Walmart and A and W. Walmart and A and W. You would have seen McDonald's first. So if you look on the right, you see McDonald's, which is a landmark. You look on the left, you see Walmart. And you don't follow cars closely. Try not to follow cars closely. And then when you look on the right, you're going to see A and W. It has, a, it has an orange color. Can you see that? A and W. This is it. A and W. This is a landmark. The examiner is going to tell you to take a left at the light. You do a blind spot to change lane. And then when you change the lane, change the lane within 200 meters to the intersection. Don't change lane too early. 200 meters to the intersection. You change lane and basically you come back to the tech center, Banton Road. We got an arrow. So he observes and he turns nicely. There are two lanes. You turn into the immediate left closer to the yellow line. And basically from here, that is the test center. You do a blind spot. You go into the small waiting zone with the arrow on the floor. You check to see the road is clear. You do a blind spot check. He's waiting and he's going to do another blind spot again before he turns. He checks again, he's safe, and then he turns nicely. And then basically what happens, you're going to be parking on either this immediate side here. You're going to be either parking on either of them or you may park in the middle section. Thank you so much. I wish you the best with your road test. This is just one out of different routes to come. Thank you.